6th grade, module 3, lesson 6, problem set. In the space provided, write the opposite of each number. A, 10 sevenths. So the opposite of 10 sevenths would be negative 10 sevenths. For 5 thirds, negative 5 thirds, the opposite is 5 thirds. 3 and 82 hundredths, the opposite would be negative 3 and 82 hundredths. And negative 6 and half, the opposite is positive six and a half. Number two, choose a non-integer between zero and one. Label it point A and its opposite point B on the number line. Write values below the points. So a non-integer somewhere between zero and one. So I'm going to choose, you can choose many things. I'm going to choose one fourth. So I'm going to separate this into fourths. So here's one fourth, and I'm going to label it A. Now I need to label its opposite point B. So the opposite of one fourth would be negative one fourth. So negative one fourth, negative two fourths, negative three fourths. So the opposite is right there, and it is B. A, to draw a scale that would include both points, what could be the length of each segment? So here, the length of each of my segments is one-fourth. Each segment in between is one-fourth. In words, create a real-world situation that could represent the number line diagram. So maybe someone went for a walk. Um, so I'll say, I went for a walk. Oops. I went for a walk starting at my my house and walked one fourth of a mile. Let's say my sister walked one-fourth of a mile in the opposite direction. So this diagram would show that I walked one-fourth mile one way and my sister walked a fourth of the mile in the opposite direction from home. We can even clarify here in the opposite direction from our home. Where zero represents home. Number three, choose a value for point P that is between negative six and negative seven. So anything between negative six and negative seven I'll just choose negative six and a half. You could write it as a fraction too. So the opposite of point P would be positive six and five tenths. Use the value from part A to describe its location on the number line in relation to zero. So the relation, to describe its location for six and a half. So six and a half is the same distance as negative six and five tenths from zero, but to the right instead of the left. C, find the opposite of the opposite of point P. Show your work and explain your reasoning. So the opposite, I'll write the equation. The opposite of the opposite of point P. So we chose point P as negative six and five tenths would be, so these two negatives will cancel each other out, but we still have 
1, so we get negative 6 and 5 tenths. So if we were to explain our reasoning, I'm going to do that all the way over here. Explain our reasoning, we can say that the opposite of an opposite is always the original number. Number four, locate and label each point on the number line. Use the diagram to answer the questions. Jill lives, okay, so we have our diagram over here. Jill lives one block north of the pizza shop. So I'm going to put the pizza shop right here, and Jill lives one block north. So I'm just going to go ahead and make pizza zero and Jill one, so we know she lives one block north. Jeanette's house is one third block past Jill's house. Okay, so if I put a two there, Jeanette's is one third right here, so there's Jill. There's pizza. Jeanette is one third past Jill's house. And I can go ahead and break those into thirds too. Jeffrey and Olivia are at the park four thirds block south of the pizza shop. So if I want to do negative one, negative two, and break it into thirds. Jeffrey and Olivia are in the park four-thirds block south of, the, south of the pizza shop. So if we start right here at the pizza shop and go four-thirds south, one, so there's one, two, three, four-thirds, it's the same as negative one and one-third, that's where Jeffrey and Olivia are. And then Jenny's Jazzy Jewelry Shop is located halfway between the pizza shop and the park. So Jeffrey and Olivia are at the park. So this is also the park. And Jenny's Jazzy Jewelry Shop is located halfway between the pizza and the park. So here's the pizza, here's the park. So halfway between there would be this location right here. Jenny's Jazzy Jewelry Shop. We want to know, describe an appropriate scale to show all the points on this situation. So what we did here is we broke it up into one-third. So our scale is one-third. And part B says what number represents the location of Jenny's Jazzy Jewelry Shop. Explain your thinking. So if it's broken up into one-third, this would be negative one-third, and this would be negative two-thirds. So Jenny's Jazzy Jewelry Shop is located at negative two-thirds. So... First we found the park. At negative four thirds. Let's say the pizza shop. Is at zero. Halfway between negative four thirds and zero is negative two thirds. And that is all.